All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the CJ Lewis QB face of the franchise. And as you will see in about a second when I move myself, uh, we are the fifth seed. As you can see in the bottom left, we are currently the fifth seed. The Chiefs are the fourth seed, so there is a chance we can win the division here. Uh, it's been a while since we have... Let me move myself back to where I was. It's been a while since... Uh, Last video in like Madden terms. We're going to get to six and six Broncos. And as you can see, we have we are all the way in week fourteen, and we have been streaking. And before I show you, um, you know, the uh, record in the last few games, this is still on all Madden. Uh, nothing has changed. I have just been playing the games on my own. So if we go to our schedule, remember we started off the season zero and four. Uh, so as you can see, zero and four, and then we were one and five. Since then, we have won one, two, three, four, five, six games in a row. So we are currently on a six-game winning streak at the start of the season, one and five. We are easily the hottest team in the league right now. We have a current record of, I believe, six and five, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four. I mean, seven and five. I'm sorry. We won six in a row. Current record is seven and five. Broncos sitting at six and six, so this is a big divisional game. So I'm going to, uh, for the rest of the season, I'm going to show you the Broncos game, this Bills game, and then the final game of the season against the Chargers. Those are going to be the last three games I show you guys for this season, trying to get through it quick. And as you can see by the records, the Chiefs are 8-4, and four, and they're facing the 6-6 six and six Chargers. The AFC West is by far the best division in the league. Uh, so, yeah, we're only one game behind the Chiefs. And I believe if the Chiefs lose that game, we might jump up into fourth place and first in the AFC West because we beat the Chiefs a second time ahead. And I believe we have a better conference record because we just went on a six-game win streak. Uh, Stat-wise for the season, I have turned it around. I am now at 31 touchdowns and 11 interceptions, 3,700 yards. And if we go to the stats and see my streak of games, uh, season stats. So let's start off 0-4. Uh, As you can see, I had only four. Five touchdowns and four picks. Obviously, not great stats. And these were all without Devontae Adams. I believe Devontae Adams came back in that Chiefs game. So, Devontae Adams came back in the Chiefs game. We win by four. I throw for 372 yards and four touchdowns. And then I have this game against the Patriots. I played on my own. 610 yards, three touchdowns, and six interceptions. Yep, that's correct. I threw six picks in that game while throwing for 600 yards. And we had a chance to win several times. Uh, but we did not. And then that's when I went on a streak. We were undefeated up until the Dolphins game that I played. Where I didn't throw an interception. 5 touchdowns. 7. 10. 18. 19 touchdowns. 1 interception. In this 6 game winning streak. And I'm looking to continue that streak and I believe I have like 12 rushing touchdowns on the season too. It's kind of crazy. But without further ado, let's get into this big divisional matchup against the Denver Broncos. Here we are. Beautiful Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. And there is that man, the leading candidate for MVP honors in his rookie year. C.J. Lewis looking to lead these Raiders to a playoff appearance and a possible Super Bowl in the future. Going up against Russell Wilson. And the surprising 6-6 six and six Denver Broncos. We've already beat them once, I believe, this year, if I'm not mistaken. Second matchup of the year for these division rivals. And we're looking to grab a big win to extend our winning streak to 7 on the year. And the Broncos start off immediately out of the gate with a touchdown, taking 3 minutes off the clock. We're going to start on the ground with Josh Jacobs and hope he doesn't fumble. And he's going to get negative 1 yards. Um, sick, sick. Thanks, Jacob. Thanks, Jacobs. All right, we're going to go with the pass here then. Devontae Adams is on the hot route. We'll see if we can get completion. It's a high snap. And I'm going to have to dump it off to Darren Waller. I've been great throwing the ball on the run. But that is going to go for absolutely no yards. And the uh, most useful... The commanders are 9-4. and four. That's actually wild. The best play we've had all season is this four verticals. Because that can happen right there. If I throw a high pass... Even though it just got broken up. Darren Waller can usually bring that in. Or Devontae Adams. But a quick three and out is not a great way to start this game. Luckily the Broncos spare us. And they do not score any points here. And give us the ball at midfield. 
Devontae Adams, can he hold on? No, he does not, but there is a flag on the play. Let's see what that is. Personal foul. Roughing the passer? You never see that. I will take that any day of the week. I did not see what happened. I was too busy looking at Devontae Adams, but we have a total of one yard compared to their 91. That is not good, but Darren Waller, what a great route right there. Gets right by the linebacker, and that is my second completion of the day. The first one for actual yards, as we have a first and 10 looking at the end zone to tie this game up. At the 15-yard line, Josh Jacobs is going to be my main route here. And I'm going to toss a high pass, and it's just out of his range. Second and 10 here. Uh, I guess we'll go with the play action. Addison might be able to get open. And he does if... Ooh, that was nearly picked by Addison. Brings it in for the Raiders. Touchdown to tie it up. Broncos come down and kick a field goal. So that can give us a chance to take the lead in this game. We still have negative one rushing yard. So let's change that Josh Jacobs on this run. And he does yields for about three. And the Broncos don't capitalize. So we still got five minutes left to try and get a score here to take the lead. And Devontae Adams, that's a high pass. And he's going to be left open and brings it in. All right, right before the two-minute warning, we get a big pass to Darren Waller to put us at the 13 in Broncos territory. And I am going to use my feet here. And I am going to run out of bounds four seconds before the two-minute warning. Oh, never mind. Apparently, running out of bounds. The clock still runs. All right, let's see if we can get into the end zone here at the six-yard line. Going to pass it through the air. That's going to be Hunter Renfro in the end zone. Touchdown. Both are touchdowns that come from receivers not named Devontae Adams. That's a good look. Third and five at the 16. A Josh Jacobs, I want to say 30-yard run. Led us here. And Addison is going to get open on Patrick Sertain. Runs a beautiful post route and gets in the end zone for his second touchdown of the day. The rookie Addison is showing out here in Las Vegas. Just complete separation. Gets both feet in. And we take a two-possession lead against the Broncos. After a 40-yard grab from Darren Waller, we find ourselves at the 11-yard line and at the end of the third quarter with a seven-point lead. The Broncos did score on their last possession. And we're looking. Darren Waller, 161 yards in this game. Unbelievable. We're looking to take... Um, our two-possession lead right back as the Broncos want to ruin this streak. And they leave a big gaping hole. Pause. Through the middle and second and four. We are the 28th ranked rushing offense. And we have 116 yards on the ground today. The reason why we're so low is because we had a big run of just terrible game with 50-yard like rushing games. But recently, it hasn't been that bad. And speaking of that, I got to run. Do not fumble, please. All right. I get third and inches this is where the QB sneak comes in I will never um what you gonna call it never use a running back on this play because it never works I don't care about the touchdown I just want the first down and I get the touchdown three passing and one on the ground for CJ Lewis four total and that gives us a 14 point lead once again can the Broncos answer back and the Broncos do answer back they make it a one score game once again their offense has been on fire uh, let's see if we can keep up. Josh Jacobs breaks a tackle, but ends up back at the line of scrimmage where he started. They are playing coverage there. They got those two middle linebackers. None are going to blitz. I am going to roll out. I have my X-Factor, so that's on target. Does he keep both feet in? He does. 25-yard completion to Darren Waller. That gives him, I believe, 186 yards on the day as you can see on the screen what a game for the tight end and i'm gonna fumble oh no 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 how did our how did our old lineman miss that football how did that changes his whole game now they are in great range to score a touchdown that i had that pass too i had that pass and they are going to score a touchdown now we're playing for the win Four minutes left. We're going to go on the ground. That That's such a costly turnover. 31-31. to 31. We got to get into at least field goal range. Josh Jacobs runs into a brick wall. And this Broncos defense is not 
giving anything up. Oh, boy, that's not good. That's not good. Darren Waller, please, wide open. Hold on. He does. Darren Waller, 25-yard gain. He now has 200 receiving yards on the day, and he sets us up at the 48-yard line in great positioning. You'll love to see it. Let's see if we can get some more yardage here. Josh Jacobs is going to make it even easier. But there's a flag on the play. I Please don't be holding, bro. Don't be holding. Roughing the passer. How? I'm not even seeing these. Is it really roughing the passer? Am I going to have to adjust the sliders? Well, now it's time to run out the clock. We have ran the clock down to the two-minute warning. Third and eight. I just have no faith in our defense. Oh, boy. There's no way I get that off. Yeah. We got to settle for the field goal here. Their pass rush was insane there. Can we trust our defense to hold Russell Wilson and the Broncos? That is a question. We hit the field goal, and we win. Our defense comes through and extends the winning streak to 7. What a victory against the Broncos. 31-34 to is your final score. What a game. Final stats on the day, C.J. Lewis, 14 for 26, 300 yards and three touchdowns. I did have that fumble. Russell Wilson had an all right game, 22 for 38, 261 yards and two touchdowns. Rushing-wise, Josh Jacobs played well, but Javante Williams played even better. He had two touchdowns on the ground. I had one, 38 yards on the ground. Josh Jacobs, 20 attempts, 91 yards. Not a bad game for him. And the story of the day, Darren Waller, eight receptions. 214 yards. No touchdowns on the day, though. Uh, those will go to Jordan Addison, um, Addison and Hunter Renfro, his only reception on the day. But that's going to be for me. We extend our streak to seven. And we go on. I don't think I'm going to play the Bills because they are six and seven. There's really no need to face them. I will see you at the regular season finale against the Los Angeles Chargers. GG.